Hi people, I'm Anelia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm deciding to do something a little different. Today is going to be a video that hits close to home. This video is going to be more so about my culture, where I come from. Uh, for y'all who don't know, I'm from the Bahamas. Proud Bohemian, born, bred, dead Bohemian. Hi, hey, hello, how you doing? I really miss home. I am currently in the United States for school. I, I graduate soon, but I can't go home just yet. So I thought like doing this video would be kind of therapeutic for me, maybe help me with my homesickness a little bit, and maybe it might be entertaining to you, I don't know. But today it's gonna be, I wouldn't call it an accent tag, accent challenge. Not a challenge. It's not, I don't know what to call it. But I will be teaching y'all some Bohemian words. For y'all who don't know, in the Bahamas, we speak a dialect or a Creole, whatever you want to call it. Oh, got an email. Not the email I was looking for. Starbucks is selling me emails. I don't know why. I got my laptop here and we're going to learn some Bohemian words today. Sometimes it's not a matter of it's a Bohemian word. Sometimes it's just a matter of how we pronounce things. We add letters, subtract letters, shorten words, make words longer. We have our own words. It's, it's part of the Creole, it's part of the dialect, it's part of the Bohemian culture. And so that's what this video is going to be about. I just really, really was excited to do this. I want to start with food, right? Because I love food. I love it. The way Americans would say this word is plantain. Yeah, Americans would, I, I'm assuming that, oh, oh, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I think Americans say plantain. Bohemians say plantain. Avocado. We say pear. Lucky charms. Cornflakes. Fruit Loops. Cornflakes. Fruity Pebbles. Cornflakes. Any other type of cereal. Cornflakes. We literally call every cereal like Lucky Charms, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, what the thing called, Apple Jacks, like any type of that kind of cereal, we call it Cornflakes, along with the actual brand Cornflakes. We, we, it's Cornflakes. All of it is Cornflakes, okay? Why? I don't know, but it's Cornflakes. The, the word foil, like aluminum foil, we say fur. When I say we, the thing is, if you're talking to like an older Bohemian, if you ask me, their Bohemianese is going to be way deeper than a younger person. I'm not saying like younger people don't say some of these things, but a lot of the like really deep, deep, deep Bohemianese, you're going to hear in the older people, especially the older people. Okay, the way the Bahamas are set up, it's an archipelago, so it's made up of over 700 islands and keys. You have the main island, which is the capital island, that's New Providence. Then you have Grand Bahama slash Freeport, which we call the second city. All the other islands are either not inhabited or they are what we call the family islands. On the family islands, they're not as developed. So, for instance, on the capital island and on the second city, you're going to have malls, bowling alley, fast food restaurants. You can have all these different things. On the family islands, it's just not developed. So, basically, like on those islands, you'll have like no fast food restaurants, no mall, no bowling alley. It's underdeveloped. If you ask me, it's nothing but sand, sun, sea, and bush. And of course, people live this. You have houses and roads and cars, but you know, it ain't really nothing much to do. When you go on the family island, it's more so like get in touch with nature, go outside the beach, go chill out, buy the fish fry, get, have a couple bears get drunk, you know, eat some nice good island food, like, that's what it is. But the people who live on the family islands, their um, Bahamian needs is going to be way deeper than, say, somebody who live on the capital island or the second city. And like I say, that's not to say that people who live on those islands speak proper English, because that is a lie, a lie, okay? We all speak Bohemian Creole. It's just deeper in some people than others. So people on the family island, you're going to hear it a lot more. It's going to be a lot deeper. Moving on from that, strawberry. Strawberry. you got to put the C in it. It's not strawberry. It's strawberry. Then you have pancake. Growing up, my grandma used to make us pancake on the weekends. Every weekend, we used to have pancake and hot chocolate. You see, when you're on the island, you don't say pancake, you say panny cake. My grandma used to say, y'all want some panny cake for breakfast? Yes, we want some panny cake. Then for bologna, we say sauces. <laughs> for the longest time, I could not say sausage as well as many other Bohemians don't pronounce it as sausage. We say sauces. Oil, like cooking oil, vegetable oil. That's another thing. We say vegetable sometimes. Sometimes I say vegetable, comfortable. You know, it depends. That's just a pronunciation type of thing. For bo for oil, we'll say earl. <laughs> like E-A-R-L, earl. 
for boil we'll say burl and then for water we don't really pronounce r's and stuff so like instead of saying water we'll say water shrimp you gotta add that c in there again it's scrimps we say scrimps you want some scrimps and grits you want some popcorn scrimp you, um i don't know if americans eat a lot of corned beef Bahamans love corned beef and Bahamans love rice. So we make like corned beef in a steam type of style where you steam it down and then you make that with white rice. You get corned beef and rice. We call that fire engine. I guess because it's red and white like a fire truck, fire engine. You have um, pot cake. Now pot cake is, you know when you make rice, we don't use rice cookers. Here in America, I see a lot of people use rice cookers. We make rice dough and fashion way on the stove. You know, you put your water in, you put your seasoning, your salt, whatever, butter, oil, whatever you use. And then you put in the rice especially if you don't have a non-stick pan but that hard part of the rice that's at the bottom of the pot would like hard to come out and you gotta scrape it we call that pot cake now pot cake can mean two things pot cake is like i say the hard part of the rice at the bottom of the pot coming out of the food section pot cake can also be a stray dog like you know you have different types of dogs but once it's a stray dog you call it a pot cake okay we get plenty of pot cake running around i will say this the bahamas i'm not gonna say it's not dog friendly but like i realize here in america people love dogs like love dogs and treat dogs like humans and you know nothing wrong with that it's just in the bahamas is different we're not gonna abuse and mistreat animals but you have a lot more like stray dogs because nobody's really like a super dog person or a super dog fan, you know, not everybody's adopting a bunch of dogs and stuff. So you have a lot of stray dogs. Okay, so another thing that is very, very bohemian is bohemians mix up the the, the letters V and W. So if a, if a word starts with the letter V or it has the letter V in it, then they're going to replace it with a W most of the time. And if, it, and if it starts with a W or have a W in it, they're going to replace that with a V. So, for instance, one time I had this principal, we was having a school assembly, and he was repeating a scripture. Because, you know, most if not all the schools in the Bahamas, they Christian schools. We was having an assembly one time. During the assembly, you say a prayer, you talk about the scripture readings and all that stuff. My principal was saying the scripture reading. Y'all know the scripture that's like the valley of the shadow of death? My principal was like the Wally or the Shadow of Death. <laughs> like, the V gets replaced with a W. So that's just how it is. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what the reason is, but that's just how it is. The Wally or the Shadow of Death. And then pajamas, we say night clothes. No, I, I don't, I've never heard a behemoth say pajamas. I mean, okay, let me not say I've never. But we don't, we don't sit here and be like, oh, I'm going to go put on some pajamas. We're going to put on some night clothes. Battery is battery nobody has time to go and pronounce every letter battery that's so long when i could just say battery ear i realize we bohemians have like a tendency to not be able to pronounce like certain i don't know how to phrase it like the word is ear e-a-r we say l like almost like the l but it's ear and then for hell hell we'll say hell I'm pretty sure I probably pronounced it hell many a times on my channel because my channel used to be like solely hair content or mostly hair content. I'm pretty sure y'all who have watched other videos who aren't the human has probably heard me say hell and be like, what the f Okay, this one, I, I don't know. I think this is more so older people who say this. My Grammy and my mommy say this a lot. They say I winkle. So for your eyelashes, they don't say eyelashes, they say eye winker. Younger people, I don't have no younger person call it an eye winker. My mummy and my Grammy, my gra my grandmother, they'd be like eye winker. I, that, I don't know, that does something to my soul, okay? What, what the hell is an eye winker? <laughs> I mean, I get it, but I, eyelash man is an eyelash. Okay, and so for aunt, for instance, your parent's sibling, instead of saying aunt, you say Annie. Like, I know other Caribbean countries, they pronounce the T and they be like, auntie. I say that sometimes, but a lot of times I just say Annie. Let's say I have an Annie named Maria. Annie Maria. <laughs> now, COVID. This is another one. My mommy say this a lot. A lot of Bahamians say it, but I use my mommy as an example. I think it's cute. I think it's so adorable. I think it's cute. But it's Kovic with a C at the end. Not COVID. Kovic. You get the Kovic. You get the Kovic. You get Kovic. -y. You get COVID? So, toilet. For this one, we say toilet. Like I say, I feel like that's 
like very old island people even if you ain't like old if you real i like you from the family island you can say turlet like <laughs> i don't say turlet but many bohemians say turlet so street just like strawberry and shrimp we gonna add to see it's street children is churn but how much churn you got boy i want 10 churn in due time god gonna bless me with 10 churn for girl i'm pretty sure people who aren't bohemian have heard this before gyal instead of girl it's gyal now boy is boy now you can use boy in so many ways like i say but many bohemians say boy a lot so you could be like boy don't touch me boy or like this boy over there meaning this boy over there now this is what i mean when i say bohemians have a problem with pronouncing certain things the word is plain like airplane we say plain like I remember it, when I first came over here, there's in here in Missouri where I'm at, there's this um, city or town, whatever you want to call it. It's it's called West Plains. That's the name of it. I just couldn't pronounce West Plains. I had to practice it really hard. I kept saying West Plains, West Plains. And then a friend of mine was like, why do you say it like that? I'm like, West Plains, that's what it is. But apparently it's, 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 it's West Plains planes now things we say things 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 t-i-n-g-s things and things have a lot of variations the variation of things is teensy so teensy is like when somebody is very like materialistic they always want money they always want clothes they always want jewelry they always want hair done this done this and that they teensy okay i'm not teensy Another variation of things I would say is tingle. Like, if you don't remember the name of something or someone, you'll say tingle in in place of it. So let's say my brother, my brother's name is OJ. So let's say I'm I'm trying to call him and I don't remember his name, and I'm trying to ask my mother, has she seen OJ? I'll say, Mummy, you see tingle? And somehow, some way, the other person already knows what you mean by tingum or who you mean by tingum it's weird i don't understand it but i like it uh we used to say growing up tingum in the bush ain't got no name so anytime somebody would be like oh you see tingum you know where tingum is somebody else would reply and be like tingum in the bush ain't got no name i don't know why but that's just what we say in response to that this one is for a light-skinned person so you're black but you're light-skinned we say you mango skin so for mom we say mummy, not mummy as in M-U-M-M-Y, not the, the dead people. We say mummy, like you got to pronounce the O. And then for bus, like transportation, the bus that you take, we call it jitney. So America is referred to as stateside. So anytime somebody going on vacation to America, they'll be like, oh, I go in stateside. Real old island people will say Miami. They'd be like, I go to Miami. And by the way, every place in Florida is considered Miami. Let me let me be very clear when I say this. We know the difference between the states. But sometimes it's just easier for some Bahamians, not all. It's easier for some Bahamians to just refer to the whole of Florida as Miami or Miami. Bahamians love Florida. Bahamians go to Florida. It's very close to the Bahamas. So when we travel, we travel there. That's like the most common place that Bahamians go and link up. You know what I mean? So it's become known that the whole of Florida is Miami. No matter where you go, you could be going to Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach. It's Miami or Miami. Now this one is, this one is, this one is, <laughs> So if if you ever hear a behemoth say the word bungie, they're referring to your butt, your booty, your buttocks, okay? It's bungie. I feel like it's a funny word. Growing up, bungie was like a curse word in my household. Like it was like unladylike and it was not chat it was not good manners to say the word bungie. But it's what we say, bungie. <laughs> so a conky joe. A conky joe is a white bohemian and sometimes Bahamians also refer to light-skinned Bahamians as Conky Joe. The Bahamas is mainly a black nation. So to refer to the small population that is not black and that is white, we'll say Conky Joe. I don't know why, but that's what they call him. So pastor, as in somebody who preaches church-wise, we say pasta, like the pasta you eat, pasta, okay? That R don't exist. What R? Sweetheart. So sweetheart, as in sweetheart. We say sweetheart because like I say, the R don't exist. Sweethearten is a sweetheart, first of all, is 
the person who you cheating on your partner with. I'm in a relationship. If I was cheating, I'm not cheating by the way, but if I were, that person who I'm cheating with, not on, but the person I'm cheating with would be considered my sweetheart. And the, the, the action of cheating on the whole is referred to as sweethearting. Now, sweethearting is the number two industry in the Bahamas. There's a lot of that going on. Now, someone who has no manners or no home training, we either say that they are no manners or they have no brought up seat. I had some roommates living here and who was no manners. Not that they had no manners. They were no manners. They was no manners and they had no brought up seat. Use it in a sentence. She ain't get no brought up seat. Me and I sleep together because she ain't open up a stink mode to say morning. Yeah, she so no manners. You all is, you know. So you hear a lot of old people using this. Especially like old people on the island. I have a bunch of aunties and uncles who would be like, you know. One time my auntie, I didn't check on her for a while. A messenger called and she's like, you know, forget about your old auntie. Meaning you all or y'all, you know. And by you know, she meant me and my, my brother. My brother. Going is pronounced gurn. We gurn away. We gurn stateside. We gurn downtown. We gurn to the shop. Also, we don't say we go into the store. I'm not saying we don't say it, but we mostly say we go into the shop. It's called a shop. We go into the shop. We're not going to the store. We go into the shop. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one is well mother sick. So it's almost like a expression, I guess. Like, for instance, behemoths like to play numbers. They would like to gamble. So if you like play at a certain number and the number that fall or the number that came is like close but you didn't quite get it you'll be like well mother secret that's what it means like i don't know how else to put it it's like an expression or like you know excitement or disappointment or just like like yeah <laughs> so this one the letter z in the bahamas is pronounced Z. We have a news station um, in the Bahamas that's called Zedness, and it's Z N S. Literally, that's what it's called, but we pronounce it Zedness because Z is Z. To say what's up, people would be like skirting on or hard go to saying, you know, that's what we'd say. Lil Ting. Lil Ting can refer to like an attractive woman that you may be interested in, or it can be like the person that you're talking to like romantically or the person you're in a relationship with like how in america people may say that's my boo that's my baby in the bahamas we'd be like i girl by my little thing that's my little thing oh she's a little thing eh when i say oh that's a little thing eh that's a man saying she's really pretty she's really beautiful she's really attractive so womanish i used to get called womanish when i was younger <laughs> that's not a good thing womanish is when specifically or mainly a female child has a bad or grown attitude so you know those little girls who like and roll in their eyes and you know like that was me i had a bad attitude i used to get called womanish all the time you're womanish Bahamians like to say stupid stuff that don't really make sense. Like, he wake up dead. How do you wake up dead? But do you get what it means? Like, he died in his sleep. He didn't literally wake up dead. You get, like, it don't make sense, but it makes sense. What I have realized while writing those words down with meanings and then coming on here and saying them into a camera is some of the words we say just are funny sounding words. I never realized how funny sounding they were until I did this video. And then on top of that, like a lot of things we say very redundant or they, they just flat out don't make no sense. But that is the Bahamian way and I love it. That's my culture and that's me and that's my people. You know what I mean? But I don't know about y'all, but I enjoyed that. Made me feel good. Made me miss home more, actually. Did not cure my homesickness, but it was still fun. But yeah, y'all, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.